Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we're back. Let's continue on. And again guys, if you guys are watching this and you guys want to see the three stars, um, I'll have a separate playlist for those. I found some spare change. Penny, you're finally making sense. Here, neighbor, have some moolah. Why? Because I'm crazy. Well, that's helpful. Spend oh, because they're gonna show us how to spend coins on plant food. So if things get rough, stock stock up on plant food. So you have to use that money. And what I will say is that um, I will do my best not to spend money on plant food. Um, there's also going to be added stuff that you can do down um, in between the plant food and the shovel. I won't be doing that either. So I would like to open this up with a question and let me ask those of you who are watching this if one, if you guys have been playing this and two, how far you've gotten. I'm curious. Call me Curious George. Well, Curious Ace, I guess, would probably be a better way to tackle that. So, again, my strategy always is to use that potato mine to take out one of the first zombies, because they always have a zombie come out first. Uh, we're going to put the cat up, cabbage pole right there. He should be able to take out the bottom one, no problem. What I want to do is I want to be able to put a pea shooter up here because the gravestones are really quite a pain. What you can do, which is nice, is you can put the cabbage poults in the back that will go shoot over the uh, gravestones. So, what we can do, since I know that this lane is going to be probably the most problematic for me starting off from the beginning, um, I'm going to put them there. I'm going to put another cabbage up here. I have a feeling in the middle lane, he's not, he's going to be, because he's really slow, I'll have enough time to actually plant the, uh, the potato mine, and I will. The one nice thing about the sun guy is that he'll stop to collect the sun. So if you want to stop him, a good strategy is to uh, is to let the sun just kind of go to him and then just collect it. So I'll show you what I mean. Oh, never mind. I was going to show you what I meant. Now, this guy is going to suck. So... We're going to put that there because my strategy looking at this level is that I'm going to put uh, two pea shooters after the sunflowers after the uh, cabbage. Okay. And at this point, I don't need sun well, desperately. So I'm not going to focus on collecting the sun. I actually want these sun guys to actually take it from me. Now there's things where, like the conehead lane, and I'm going to have to explain this to you because you guys can't see where my mouse is. Oh, okay, um, there we go. But I'm going to have to explain this just a little bit more to you guys because I know you guys can't see where my finger is because this utilizes the, um, the finger to, um, to plant, to move it, so you guys can't always see where I'm looking at or where I'm pointing at. Now this lane right here, uh, whenever you see a bucket head, especially in these first few levels, always reserve a potato mine for them. Um, there's no way that you're going to actually be able to take them out, because um, as you as you can see right now with the, with the bucket head, even with having three things in the lane, I'm still not able to take them out. So... Just be wary of that. Always try and keep a potato mine um, in the back, unless, of course, you actually want to use one of these one of these plants on them. But I like to reserve those for worst case scenario.
but what you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna put him here and I'm gonna boost up the walnut and then I have some extra stuff so I'm also gonna just destroy them so and you can't really take these over so let's just boom so there you guys go Ooh, this is what I like I can't remember if this is something that they give you right away or if this is just something special it's gonna be you're gonna collect these at random oh that's where the boomerang is uh oh the road is forked what do we do now those are where you flex your brains with new plants and upgrades I've named them brain busters brain busting very dangerous you go first so you're gonna get keys and what it is is it's very random so there's not a lot of times when you know you can do them for instance in the in the one that I was playing before I was recording uh, I was able to get some like a lot of keys but I don't have this five um, unlocked because I wasn't able to get enough keys now for you guys I would go for the boomerang first because you have to then I would go for the twin sunflowers because they are literally um, lifesavers and I will be showing you guys my strategies when I play through them no need for sun plants are coming via special delivery now in terms of this walkthrough uh, something like this uh, I'm actually not going to uh, put in a special one because to me this is still part of the actual game itself um, for the ones with the I love this boomerang by the way I should have put them up there I don't know what I was doing I was being really super cocky and I got lucky with the potato mine but I'm gonna put this one as part of the main walkthrough um, I might be doing them all the way through as part of the main walkthrough because they all kind of have to do with the same thing um, let me know in the comments down below how you would like me to do this because it's it's really going to be for your guys' benefit I just know that the three stars that you get after you complete everything um, is something that I want to do separately because uh, those are the ones that are going to be extremely hard for each person because I know they were extremely hard for me um, and a lot of you guys say that I'm like not a savant but like you know I've I've played Plants vs. Zombies quite a bit, so I, I'm pretty darn good at it, but even that being said, it was hard for me. So if it was hard for me, I'm almost assuming that it's going to be a little hard for you guys. But this is special delivery, um, very similar to a game uh, in the original Plants vs. Zombies, where they're going to give you a set of uh, plants that you can do, and you have to basically you can plant them you can you can let them stock up or stack up if I get another boomerang I'm gonna put them up here and I'll show you guys what happens if you don't use them as quickly as I do I try the boomerangs are really nice because again they hit more than they hit three people in a line so the way, especially with the graves it's almost imperative to, to plant them uh, I'm gonna have to put him here sorry because I I know that this guy is going to, the conehead guy is going to actually come very close to taking us out. But as you can see in the second to bottom lane, that boomerang is hitting all three of them. Which is fantastic. That is something we definitely want. And I need to use something, so let's use this. Just because I know that this bucket head is going to be a pain for us. And because we have the bucket head and the cone head, I'm going to double up on them and we're going to protect him and we're going to we're going to use this again okay perfect 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 all right so he's going to blow up that was very convenient of him this is the final wave i should be fine and as you can see in the bottom lane it does only hit three so 
the guy with the flag actually because he was behind didn't get hit even though it was it was going close to him now you can see right now that they're stacking up and that's just something to pay attention to this is gonna be a way overkill but that's right we're gonna just defeat special delivery so this is gonna be the star system that I that I will have hinted to you guys let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do the stars separately when I unlock different areas um, or as part of the main walkthrough because I'm going to be grouping these into playlists and I want to make sure that you guys have the easiest accessibility towards them so look now there's a star on the space-time map what could it all mean stars appear on the map where you earned them stars could help us get back to the year 2009 and your tacos well, let's get going and find some more. So, what you're going to do is, in order to get to the next level, you're going to need 15 stars. So, you don't have to get all the stars in the level. However, I will be showing you guys how to get all the stars. So, let's head on to number four. Let's see which one, what they do with this one. So, this one, there's no bucket head zombies, which is very good for us. Um, that's something that you're all that I would say you're always looking for no bucket heads and no King Tut zombies those ones are some of the hardest ones the Anubis one that raises the graves he's he's definitely difficult but he's definitely beatable later because you're, you're gonna get an ice cabbage that can uh, freeze him so don't worry too much about him now you really just want those the mummy one Oh, and then I forgot, this one also has the guy with the torch. The guy with the torch can literally blow through your line in two seconds even if he comes anywhere near you. I know with a lot of these, you can sometimes get... It can sometimes get kind of easy because, you know, you allow the, uh, the plants to take a couple hits for you. Now, on something like this, where I'm looking for uh, multiple... Uh, basically a setup really quickly if I get any plant food I normally use it on our Sun just so that I can get more Sun so I can set up and plant better um, at this point it, it would be my, my uh, advice for you guys to just plant the boomerangs um, you try and use the potato mines on the other lanes and really focus on on getting enough sun for the boomerangs and you could do two lines of suns if you really wanted to um, however I don't find that to be um, necessary I feel like it's only one that that's that's necessary at this point so we're gonna put him up here now I could have put him in the middle lane but I know that I'm gonna be taking this guy out with the potato mine and that's nice because the top one just took away the uh, grave, so I could technically put a pea shooter. However, at this point, because I'm getting so much sun, I'm not too concerned about a pea shooter. We're gonna put you here again. See, so right now I'm gonna just use sun because I know that there's not a wave of zombies, and I want to get it, kind of all of my boomerangs planted. Now the boomerangs are almost—I think I've used them in every single map um, so far, at least in the, the first world. Uh, and they are great against the camel zombies. Just basically, like, absolutely necessary. Because you need to be able to hit someone other than just the first one. If you use the pea shooter, it's not actually going to uh, work very effectively. And is he going to blow up? Yeah, he's going to blow up. Okay. Good, and we have another another guy at the top here that I can get some plant food for. Because what I wanted to try and show you guys, I want to kind of show you guys just like the most efficient way to get this stuff done. Now this is going to be problematic here. I, this is going to be cutting it very close in the bottom lane. Oh, just barely, and he didn't even, he didn't even attack me, which is fantastic. So, what we want to do, yep. I saw the Conehead guy come down, so I wanted to put the boomerang in the very bottom row. But two boomerangs seem to be able to take care of whatever problems you may or may not have. Um, at this point, I'm getting enough sun to where I don't really need to use the plant on the individual 
boomerangs. So what we're going to do is we're just going to be patient. And wait to plant everything. And at this point, we are I am happy with where everything is. So what I would do is I would basically set up a bunch of, uh, of these walnuts to protect me. But that being said, I'm pretty much owning right now. So what I'll do, if I get extra sun, which I'm not going to do now because I'm going to... I would basically put the boomerangs on some of these aisles that have more, like... I would put him, uh, put him up here. Okay, so we're gonna put him up here. Now, this is a huge wave of zombie that that is approaching, so we just really just need to just take them all out. Ooh, and this is gonna lead into the next section. I mean, the next little tutorial part because this is the first few levels but I consider this more of a tutorial because um, it's not something that's going to be extremely difficult so this is used only in a jam ah -ha -ha. oh I didn't realize this all of these are, have stars okay but there's there's going to be more stars to them so this is just going to be part of the normal one um, once you finish it, you're, you're going to get three extra stars, and those ones are going to be the ones that I consider to be a little bit more difficult. Um, let's go into this one. You have some power-ups. I'll show you how to use them. Oh, this one's kind of easy. Yeah, now we can break the seal. Let's get crazy. Power pinch. So they're going to show you how to how to do this. And what you do on the iPad or iPhone version, you're going to have to pinch these. Now, again, if they were to move this over to the PC, they would have to uh, change this a little bit. But that's not going to be too difficult. So just pinch the screen. This is not my favorite. I don't really like doing this one. I really don't like these power-ups anyways. Just as an avid Plants vs. Zombies player and a guy that played um, both... The um, Plants vs. Zombies, the original one, and the Facebook one. Okay, so I want you guys, so if you can just kind of do this. Basically, you just take your thumb and index finger as I do it, and you just move them quickly across the screen. It's really not that hard. This one is called the power toss. This one you can use your finger to lift them up and then you fling them. So lift them, lift, lift them up. And you just kind of fling them. It, again, all this stuff is actually really not that difficult. Um, and actually kind of an easy way to, you know, to take them all out. Now this is the power zap. This one's a little bit trickier because you have to put your finger on the zombies for a little bit of time for them to get fully electrocuted. So if you go slow like this, it will work. However, if you go fast like this, you're going to still need to get through some of them. So just something to, to keep in mind if you guys are using this power up, don't go so fast. For instance, let me go through these guys really, really fast and show you. If I go like, if I go like this, it doesn't do them. But if I, if I go, if I click this and I go slowly over each one, it would work. Now I will say that the buckethead zombies should take, they have more defense, but this should actually logistically hurt them a lot more, considering that they have metal heads. Now have fun with the power ups. Now what I like to do is actually this is my, one of my favorite power ups just because it just it's it's so easy to use. You just have to keep going up in the right in the right. Uh, there we go. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Power toss. So you guys can use whichever one you're most comfortable with, but for me, just to sling these guys is is the best. It's the way that I like to do it. Ooh, 
ice cabbage this now this one is going to come to my strategy now you guys are really going to start getting into some of my strategy when it comes to um, a lot of a lot of these levels so now that we've done that we're gonna go to level six and there's also something to get the uh, keys there will be zeti uh, zeti yeti zombies which are pretty darn interesting okay I really don't like the cabbages you're gonna get a plant later that's uh, the like corn on the cob one that, that does the butter thing on them that you've done in the first one that one's useful anyways if you want to use a power up you can buy one with coins yeah, so you're going to get coins throughout this. Um, I have yet to really use them, again, because I don't like using power-ups. I like to give, him, give myself a challenge. But for those of you who maybe are, like, struggling with the level or really, you know, so close to, to defeating it, that's, some, that's, when, it, you, um, that's when you can use power-ups. I mean, you can use them whenever you want. I would just say, you know, again, use them um, sparingly. So this, this iceberg is phenomenal because what it does is it freezes the zombie which and they and the best part is is that it doesn't cost anything there will be stars that you need to earn where it tells you that you can't um, have more than like two of your plants uh, die and he actually can he it's actually considered a sacrifice when he does that so he's basically sacrificing himself for you um, so because of that he's useful in almost all aspects except for that now this is actually perfect because what we want to do is we really want to put the boomerangs on the aisles that have the most uh, gravestones because it'll hit the most of them so he wouldn't have ever hit the zombie until he got past the third gravestone but we really kind of want him to take that out so right now I'm gonna put one here and we're also gonna put one of these guys here and we're gonna start um, freezing this guy and slowing him down so that we can get more sun to plant down oh, I shouldn't have done that actually scratch that you guys if you guys are playing this again put the, uh, the potato mine in the middle there and use the boomerang on the bottom that's what I, that's what I should have done just because I would like the boomerang to take out the uh, the gravestone. Okay, so I definitely need I need to freeze these guys. I need to put you here, and I need to cover my butt with this because I have a feeling the way that I've I've kind of thought thought this through that yeah we're gonna be able to take him out. Holy crap! This guy sucks. Okay, I forgot that we had him so quickly. So, we really need, we really, oh good, he, you can take him out, okay good. But, I don't, I didn't want to show you guys what happens, but he can basically, you'll see it maybe at one point, um, it'll, it'll, it's bound to happen. Let's take this guy out. And we'll put one here. One of these guys here. I'm trying to think the best kind of mode of attack. Something really cool with the iceberg is that um, it can freeze uh, all of the camels, and I'll show you guys that when it pops up. Hopefully, is if I put this down here. Oh no! I was so trying to get that before it happened. Okay. Anyways, um, we do not want this guy to attack us, so we're gonna be putting two in that lane. But as you can see, the boomerang hits all three of those guys, and that's key. It's very, very important. And you can use this on him, and this this guy will still burn through them. I'm actually a little curious as to whether or not hit the potato mine will blow him up. I, I, I actually do not know if that's the case. Wow, we're taking the, we're taking them out quickly. 
Okay, again, guys, you have the bucket head here at the bottom. Um, let's see if this guy makes it. I don't even think he'll... Yeah, he won't even make it. <coughs> but this is absolutely imperative that we slow this guy down. We're going to put him here. Probably going to put one there and one here. So we're basically set up the way that I personally want to be set up. And we just have to survive one last huge wave of zombies. Yeah, see, any of the bucket heads, you really got to save those potato mines for. Because they can be really troublesome. The gold coins, as you saw, do about 100 um, damage. What I should do, actually... Oh, and I didn't have a cabbage. But what you could do for this final wave or, or whatnot is have a cabbage and power them up and the cabbage will basically hit all zombies in all lanes so that that is actually pretty helpful and they give me some coins for defeating this I believe those are only 10 coins right yeah so I got a, I got a hundred coin for defeating that I will take that then we have seven we have seven eight nine ten. Nice work. Hey, Penny, what does this button do? No, don't press that. There's special items in there. So we can visit the store. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the store. Again, I don't use this store ever. Um, this is where you can buy. I mean, you could buy just insane amount of stuff. So let's go over to plants. Um, this is a little frustrating for people that you don't actually get to have access to some of these. Um, I never really used the squash, and now that you have the potato mine and the uh, the one that freezes them, the cabbage, I really like that. I would the per personally, I would love to have the torchwood and the snow pea. Those are the two that I would really like to have, and I really wish that they weren't bought, but it's the way that they do it. Um, but you can do bonus seed slots, plus 25 starting stun. Um, that would definitely help you to, to go through levels. Personally, I'm not going to do that. So you guys definitely, if you guys want to, feel free to do it. It will probably help you out a little bit. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys again ways that you don't have to spend money to beat the game. Because um, to me that's the most important thing. Especially for those of you who don't have a lot of money and it's disposable income. Um, you will need to know how to defeat it without that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video off. And for you guys, stay tuned for the next part. Because in the next part... I'm going to see if I can defeat the rest of this, and then we can start getting towards stars. This has been Pitching Ace 88. I'll see you guys all next time. Over and out.